what happened today? Well, of course, uh, this is the first day of the trial. I am just so very thrilled to finally have my day in court. Uh, I was able to tell what happened. Uh, and I'm just, after all of the roadblocks that were put in my way, I'm just very glad to be at this point where I can share my story and have six people decide whether or not what happened to me was an assault, as I think it was. And so I just am overjoyed that I'm finally here. And I really can't underestimate how difficult it was for me to get to this point. Because were it not for my attorney's persistence, I'd still be whining about not having an ability to get due process. And what that says to me is that if someone like me has this kind of trouble getting a complaint filed, what does that say for other women out there who aren't as allegedly connected airports as I am supposed to be? It was just very difficult to get to this day and I'm just really glad to be at this point where I had a chance to tell my story. Is there anything, I mean, I guess since it's still ongoing. I didn't know if there was anything that you could say about... No, I don't want to okay. say anything other than I'm very glad to have finally had a chance for my day in court to share my side of the assault. I don't want to say anything more than that. This trial will continue tomorrow. I am very hopeful that at the end of the day that the jury will see that what happened to me was indeed a physical assault. And I'm hopeful that they will recognize that assault is an assault um, and will find him guilty of that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. how, is your, how is your arm today? Uh... And I, it goes and comes. Uh, since that, you know, I've, I have trouble with it. But, you know, I'm, I'm compared to some people, honey, I'm blessed and highly favored. So I have no complaints. All right. Again, I'm just glad to get to this point and I'm just so very glad that this is almost over because it has been like a cloud hanging over me since May 11th and I just again I am just amazed at how difficult it was for me to get to this day. The system is broken very much so and there ought to be something done about it. Will you be pushing for any new legislation? I'm gonna talk with my attorney and kind of yield to what he thinks ought to happen. I think quite frankly, sunshine is the best disinfectant. And what I am hopeful is that the South Carolina House of Representatives will recognize that they don't, they should not have a double standard uh, for legislators when crimes are committed. What do you say to women that may have encounter or something like this with somebody, or even males or females yeah. that encounter and, and for any, immediately? Or? For any man or woman who has been victimized in this way, I would encourage them to be persistent and just follow through and make sure there's an opportunity for them to have their day in court. Silence means consent, and you shouldn't just let it go. You should report it and you should do as I did, turn over every, leave no stone unturned until you can do or get what is every citizen's right. And that is to file a complaint when one thinks one has been aggrieved. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Thank you.